Graphing Reductions, Lesson 10.2b. We have learned when the scale factor k is greater than 1, the dilation is an enlargement. For scale factors between 0 and 1, the image is smaller than the preimage. This is called a reduction. Given the coordinates of a vertex of a preimage and the scale factor k, we can find the corresponding vertex of the image. We have our xy value. This is going to be for the preimage vertex A, and it maps to the scale factor multiplied by the x value and the scale factor multiplied by the y value. It's telling us that the scale factor is 1 half. We're going to do 1 half times negative 3 and 1 half times 6. That means A prime will be a negative 1 and 5 tenths, or 1 and a half, and y will be a 3. So remember, when we multiply a negative to a positive, we get a negative. So our scale factor k is less than 1, so this is a reduction. This quadrilateral is the preimage, and the center of dilation is the origin. We list the coordinates of the vertices of the preimage in this first column. So we have A, B, C, and D. We look at where they are, we can see A is at a negative 3 for X and a 6 for Y. We list each vertex coordinate. We can see the scale factor is 1 half at the top of the second column. We apply the dilation to the preimage and write the coordinates of the vertices of the image into the second column. So this is what we're doing. If we know that on the preimage, the vertex B is at 4 for x, 3 for y, we multiply the 4 times 1 half and the 3 times 1 half. We know B prime is at 2, 1.5, 2, 1 and a half. We multiply each x and y coordinate of the vertices of the preimage by the scale factor k. We complete the second column of our table. Now we sketch the image after the dilation onto the coordinate grid. We have all of the vertex coordinates for A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. We draw it onto the coordinate grid. The image is a reduction of the preimage. The image is half the size of the preimage. We know it's half. That's what the scale factor was. The shape and orientation didn't change. The length of each line segment of the image is half the length of the line segments of the preimage. We have line segment DC. This is 10 units in length. And D prime C prime is 5 units. That's half. The angle measures of the image are congruent to the angle measures of the preimage. The measure of angle A is 85 degrees, and the measure of angle A prime is 85 degrees. They're all congruent to each other, to the corresponding angles. And the distance from the origin to A prime is half the distance from the origin to A. This point right here is half the distance from the origin than it is from the origin to A. The algebraic representation of this dilation is parentheses and then an x and a comma, then the y, and then close parentheses. Then we have our arrow pointing to the right, and we have another parentheses with the k factor, whatever that is, then our x value, comma, the k factor again, and then our y value, close parentheses. That would be how you would write this dilation algebraically. So I wanted to show you something. This is looking ahead in geometry. We talked about when the scale factor k is between 0 and 1, then it's going to be a reduction. Well, when the scale factor k is less than 0 as a negative scale factor, the image will be a 180 degree rotation and an enlargement. If we know that k is a negative 2 and we've got the preimage vertex A is at 1 and 3, 1 for x, 3 for y, we would multiply by that scale factor k, that negative 2 scale factor, and we would get negative 2, negative 6, and that would flip A prime down here, 
So this went like this and rotated. So now A prime is down here. So it was a rotation of 180 degrees and an enlargement. We can apply that negative 2 scale factor to each of the vertices of the pre-image to be able to map the image. We're finished with 10.2b. We're moving on to the last part, center of dilation outside the image. Have a great day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.